What is going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. We're gonna ship some eBay orders, but I'm in Atlanta right now. Uh, I flew down to visit a buddy of mine in Chattanooga. I prepaid for the gas tank in my rental car, and you bet I'm gonna get my use every penny out of it. We're, we're not there yet. Still on the highway. Hopefully we make it. I did put five bucks in like an hour and a half ago, so. I did have to buy a little bit of gas. I'm either gonna roll in on fumes or I'm going to just abandon the car on the side of I-85. One of the two. Let's get to the airport so we can get to Wisconsin so we can ship those eBay orders out. I made it. I'm gonna throw you a whole bunch of numbers. My flight boards at 8:40. I walked into the airport at 8:08. I got to the front, or I've got to the entrance of the security line at 8. Let me think. 8, 8:11, and through security by 8:17. I love pre-check. And at the gate at 824. And by the way, all of this is in one of the busiest airports in the country. Well, after a couple of flight delays, finally made it to Green Bay like 11 p.m. I'm debating if I want to ship these eBay orders tonight. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Maybe you'll see me. Maybe you won't. So, I am going to stop at the warehouse because the warehouse is like two minutes from the airport. I'm going to pull orders even though it's 11.14 at night. And the reason is because I need content if I want to stick to my planned schedule for these videos. And I'm not going to be at the warehouse before Tim tomorrow morning. I plan on unpacking my bag. I am an unpacker the second I get home. I do not feel like I'm home until my bag, everything is unpacked and put away. So by the time I do that and everything, it's not going to be early. It's I'm going to be up late, I'm sure. And I'm not going to be in before Tim. So let's go. I'm not going to ship them. I'm just going to pull the orders so you can see what's sold over the weekend-ish. We'll get into that in a minute. By the way, it's dark. Hold on. By the way, I have an Instagram. I created it like seven years ago. Don't remember doing that, but it exists. And maybe a month or so ago, I decided to actually start using it. So the cleaning lady couldn't lift these bags. And it looks like this one got pretty ripped up in the process. That'll be fun to try and take care of tomorrow. If they get heavy, what we usually do is just wheel the whole can out and dump it. Obviously, it might still be too heavy, but I feel like the issue is the bags were ripping when she was trying to lift them. So, eBay orders. Um, Tim usually ships Friday, like right before he leaves, 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, and it is Sunday night, late night. So it's what, like two and a half days? Not even. Uh, let's see what we've got for orders here. And mind you, while I was on, on the road this weekend, I was not tending to offers very well, so it's probably not gonna be a great one. All right, we've got, oh wow, 23 orders. For how much? $1,331 from two and a half days, it's not bad. Uh, it looks like a whole bunch of offers keep popping up here. So let's go down the list. G1-4. Uh, it's gonna be up here. That's gonna be too heavy for me to grab with one hand. I guess I'm leaving this one for Tim. Very first one, it's not in the box. 
It's uh, this Nature Bounty Fish Oil, a two pack. Uh, it's 180 counts, so it should be pretty big bottles, and we should still have one available. So that means there is uh, should be four giant bottles in here, and there are not. But that sold for $18.99, came from Walgreens. Next, G2. This is a Christmas item. Probably this right here. Christmas in the City bed sheets. This is from the Pottery Barn Palettes. I'm not sure I showed you what those are. Holy crap. See that? That thing just scared the crap out of me, whatever that is. All right, so I'm not sure I showed you the Pottery Barn palettes, uh, but we got pal palettes of Pottery Barn. Christmas set here sold for $144.99. Uh, king size, yep, king size. So $144.99 for this. I can just hear what Tim's gonna say. Why did you pull orders? Why did you do that? He gets really annoyed when I pull orders for him, especially if I don't ship them. But he kept putting a cart in the middle of the, in the aisle. That wasn't gonna be a swear word, but it was gonna be kind of a borderline swear word, and I'd rather not say that. He kept putting it in the middle of the aisle during the warehouse sale. I kept telling him no, it annoys me, and he started doing it because he could tell it annoyed me, and he thought it was funny. And it just, it was right in front of the door in the middle of the aisle and people were getting, it was so congested, no one could get through. And I kept telling him, don't do that. And he kept doing it. So I said, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that because I'm gonna do something that you don't like. And he was like a little worried, but also sounded like he didn't care. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be it. Orders will be pulled, not shipped. That'll be him to do. Now, M6, that's gonna be this hose timer right here. So for 50 bucks, $49.99. Um, this must have come out of Home Depot pallet or something. Z61. It's not in here. The listing has two possible locations. So let's look at the other one. Z4. Z4. Right here. This, we've got about a billion of these. It's just little flush valve gaskets. Three of them we sold for $7.50. I can get them out of here. I'll show you what they look like. Three of these. And it's three in a box here. I guess we've got a billion of these. They're not going to sell on the sale. So we're just getting what we can on eBay for them. B2-1 is right here. One of the last of these guys. These are these. Magic Pixies. Except we figured out that this sells decently. So does this by itself, and this is a lot cheaper to ship. It ends up working out better for us, and then we ended up putting all these in the sale. It looks like a couple of them must have been forgotten about. But anyways, this sold for 20 bucks. H51, is that this box? No. What about this one? H51, right here. Two saw blades. He must have just listed these, sold for 27, and they came off of a Home Depot pallet. G4-4. That's probably going to be 82H. So, two of these valve stem things. Uh, let's see. Oh, I bet that's it right there. Yep, so two of these. I forgot how much I got for them. So, we're going to take a walk back over here. Uh, I sold both of them for 1998. Z, as in Z, 4-2, 4-1, is it this maybe? No. Z, 4-2, could it possibly be this? It might be this. What's this note say? 32. So this, yeah, this is something else. Huh. I'm going to put this back. Well, that gets mixed up on a later date. It's not that. Oh, it's down here. What is happening here? Am I going crazy or I don't get it? Uh, is it these? Probably not. There's too many of them there. It's some pen refills. Maybe it is these. It should end in like 61 or something. Maybe I should come over here and look at what it is. 
Uh, three Waterman Paris Rollerballs Blue Ink ends in 961. Why am I not seeing a skew on there? And why are... Why is this bag so difficult to open with one hand? And why is this in there with it? All right, I think these are the ones... Oh, no, that's different too. What is happening here? Maybe they're... These kind of look different too. Uh, where's the model number? Let's start with that. Uh, model number, there we go, 961, 961, do either of these have that model number? 961, right there, 540961, that's the one, is this the same thing? I don't see a model number on here anywhere, well, what about the barcode? 0915, 0915, so this is the same one. So maybe because this one was all ripped open, he's just throwing it in for free. It's supposed to be a pack of three of them. So let's just assume that's the case. He's going to be shipping them in the morning, so he will know what he did. Um, if I were actually shipping them, I would look to see if there was a single unit listed somewhere. But, oh, those sold for 10 bucks. We're selling three of them for 10 bucks. I can't imagine one is being sold by itself. All right, next is F51. And that is right here. And I already forgot what sold out of here. Um, oh, he listed these. I'm pretty sure this is what I found. No, never mind. This isn't what I found in the dumpster. Never mind. I lied. I believe it's this that sold. It was like a green box. Let's double check. Blink. Blink and you miss it. Uh, yeah, a lot of three of these sold for 15 bucks. Next is G1. That's going to be up here. Could it be this? Yeah, Stella Jewelry Box. We sold a jewelry box here, 135 bucks. Came from Pottery Barn. And you can kind of see what it looks like. The top opens up. Uh, the front looks like there's some drawers on it. But it came from Pottery Barn and it sold for 135 bucks. That didn't work out. I'm sure these will protect it pretty well in shipping. That's probably not even relevant. Next is I-4-2. I... Right here. This came from Target. I recognize that. This, these are the Target labels. $89.99. Did we charge shipping on it? I hope we did. Or I hope it didn't go far. Uh, we did charge shipping on it. It must not be going too far because shipping's like 12 bucks. Um, but this came on a Target pallet. Couldn't have been listed for too long. It was listed in May. Next, another Pottery Barn item. And it's gonna be over here. G2. I don't think that's it. Right here, probably. Is this a twin? Twin XL, yes. So someone bought two of these Hello Kitty bed sheets from Pottery Barn. Nice part about it is we see what retail is. They spent 140 bucks for both of them, and retail was 90 each, so that would be 180. So basically, they got a 40 dollars savings from retail, and they are brand new. I don't think any of this pottery barn stuff is returns, but I may be wrong. Uh, but the total was 139.98. Next is F51. Let's see. I think it's this. Yep, it's going to be three of these. There's two. That's something else. That's something else. That's something else. I feel like, oh, no, it's right on top here. So three of these Mucinex things. Uh, these came out of Walgreens. I already forgot what they sold for. Uh, $29.99, so basically 10 bucks each. And for those wondering, if it's on eBay, it is in date. It could be short dated. In this case, it's good for, what, a year and two, year and three months. I can't do math. Screw you. Um, but everything, here are these. Where's the date on them? Uh, I don't know how well you're going to see that. That is... I don't know how well I can see that. 
I don't know. Oh, there we go. 1110 of 2024. Wow, my eyesight needs to be better to be able to see that. Is that the only health and beauty items? I think so. But if it's, we pull it before it goes out of date. Tim, I get that it's in its own box, but maybe you could note where the box is located. Uh, well, let's start over here. Just kind of glancing through to see if I see it. Up top, maybe. Uh, this one. Nope. It's kind of nice part. Oh, right here. Own box is on the Toys R Us shelves. TRS is what we put for those. Anyways, $29.99. We got a whole bunch of these out of Walgreens. And right over here, 10 bucks for one of these apple cider vinegar gummies. These are not cheap in the store, this goalie brand. They are good through, oh, nine of 22. So you got like a month to use it. I wonder if they're all that short dated. Uh, let's see. Seven of 22. So that one's going to have to be pulled. Nine of 22. So these are pretty short dated. Nine of 22. I think we're going to have to go through those and uh, update the count. Uh, because it says we have 16 available. There are probably a lot more than 16 in there. Anyway, so for 10 bucks, um, we'll just have to pull the out, out of date ones, but the listing says there's 16 available and it looks like there's quite a bit more than 16 in this box. So I'm not too worried about it. I just put this on here that way. Nobody accidentally ships one out that's expired. And that's another one where the location is own box. I'll have to have a talk with him. He gets very defensive, though, when you bring anything up with him. I feel like little things like that aren't worth it. I don't know. Maybe I'll punch him in the face first. You think that would make him less defensive? <laughs> Me punch someone in the face like that would end well. I would get punched in the face. And then I would start screaming and crying like a little girl. And nobody wants to hear that. All right, next, uh, two-pack Master Lock A54. A five four right here likely came. These are factory sealed too. Usually we get these and we just have to throw them away because they're open and we can't we don't it's not the default combination anymore. These are factory sealed. Sold for thirty-eight bucks, which seems cheap for these, but been listed for a couple of months, so it can't be that underpriced. I always thought those were like 40 bucks each in the store. Next, another Pottery Barn item. Over here, we've got, it might be this. Let's slide this out of the way. It looks gray in the picture, and I didn't read the listing. I'm going to assume it's this until eBay tells me otherwise. Uh, let's see. Um, California King, Pottery Barn, Belgian Flex Linen, Hand Stitched Quilt. There we go. There you go. All of those details. Uh, 349 is retail and we sold it for 200 bucks. Nice sale right there. Uh, nice Pottery Barn. Whole bunch of good Pottery Barn stuff on here. And we've got so much Pottery Barn stuff. You can see there's a whole bunch piled up here that he has yet to list. Uh, he told me he just finished going through it the other day. I think it was Friday. Uh, let's see how, how it's all sorted back here. Because we had like 18 pallets of it, I think. I mean, we got a whole bunch right here. A lot of bed sheets and stuff. Look at this Harry Potter pajamas. And this, there's no way this is the reject pile. Because Harry Potter pajamas with a retail of 80 bucks. These have to be worth putting on eBay. Uh, what is this? I know there were some Baby Yoda ones. This looks like Star Wars. Uh, 90 bucks, whatever it is. Anywhere BB Death Star. Don't know what that is. Uh, here is, looks like the Incredible Hulk. 130 bucks. It's a duvet cover. Could be Avengers. That might be Thor. So, uh, what else? I don't know what this is, but it was 40 bucks. Looks like a Valentine's Day thing. Blackout panel curtains was 140. 
Uh, more Christmas stuff. This is uh, Dr. Seuss, the Grinch, with a retail of... Now, this one doesn't have a tag on it. That might be I mean this is a return. Looks like pajamas. Uh, let's see. We got... Oh, here comes Santa Claus for 130 bucks. Candy Cane Lane for... 89 bucks. So anyways, you get the idea. I'm not gonna dig through here in the dark. Looks like there's more carts here. It was, like I said, 18 pallets of it. Lots of stuff. That's probably more. So I think we're gonna do, I was anticipating a lot of this stuff kind of sitting until the holidays, especially because there was a lot of Christmas stuff, uh, but like gifty type stuff. But I think this stuff is gonna do really well. I think we're gonna have a really strong Christmas just because of this pottery barn. And I got this on a whim. A supplier forgot to send me a pallet. And so he said he would freight it up, he'd pay for the shipping, but he could send a box truck up if I buy more. So I'm like, yeah, sure, free shipping, might as well. And I'm spending like 12 grand with him. Maybe he did that intentionally, but I think I'm gonna make a lot more than 12 grand. I mean, I'd probably have seven, 800 bucks just in this stuff that's gonna be going out from Pottery Barn. All right, next. Z1, that's Z1. I have a feeling it's this. We're selling a Bano. Yep, this is a shower sliding door. It's the hardware kit for it. $99.99, sold for a hundred bucks. Came on a Home Depot pallet. Back up here, sold. Ugh, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Another one of these for 30 bucks. Wheels for a walker. At least I think that's what these are. I never really looked that close. Yeah, rear glide brake wheels, uh, three inch wheels for walkers, 30 bucks. G2 over here. That means it's another pottery barn. That's going to be, let's move a couple things over. Ooh, what's this? Basketball, right? Yeah, basketball sheets. Shows how much I'm into basketball. Um, and what was retail on it? These were 110 or 109 bucks. I'm sure he probably hasn't priced it like 89 or something. So this tote bag sold for 22 bucks. This came out of Pottery Barn in retail. It was probably on the outer thing here. Looks like we have a few of them. Retail was 29.50. What are the fun stuff? More basketball. NFL, but this is something smaller. I don't know, 32 bucks. It was retail. I don't know what this is. Maybe pillow shams or something. And then NFL bed sheets, roses, Christmas. Oh, I better double check that we sold that I grabbed the right Christmas one. I'm gonna check that in a minute. More Christmas, more Christmas. There are a lot of Christmas ones. Yeah, I better make sure I grab the right one. Yep, I grabbed the right one. We got like the buildings and stuff. And you look up here, buildings and stuff. King size. King size, so I was correct. By the way, this Pottery Barn tote bag is insulated, so like a cooler. It's got leather straps. It's fancy. I don't know. That's the details. I'm not going to read them here. Tote lunch. Oh, it's like a lunch bag. Oh, it's a Pottery Barn lunch bag. There you go. That's for those of you who are rich enough to go to Pottery Barn, but poor enough where you bring your lunch to work. Or maybe you save enough money bringing your lunch to work that you can afford a pottery barn lunch bag. I bet that's it. C51. Does anyone C51? Do you C51? I C51. We sold this, another goalie product. It's Ashwood. At Ashwagand. Ashwagand Ha. It's like they're making fun of the Ha! You tried to pronounce this. Uh, it sold for $15.99. It helps relax, restore, and unwind. Uh, and this is the only one that we have, at least the only one in that box. Next is C34. Do you C34? I do not C34. There is C... What? I don't get it. Like, three, three, three. C3, C3, but that's C4. Why? All right. So this is, I wonder if this is the fish oil salt. No, there's only one of those in here. Uh, it was like turmeric or something. There we go. I think it was a two pack. 
let's just grab two. Uh, so these uh, dates are 11 of 24 and 8 of 24. Uh, yes, a two-pack sold for $22.99. And for those wondering, when we have different dates like this, what we'll do is just say $8.24 plus, implying, oh, that does not, okay, it's sealed under it. These are two different types of bottles here. Well, just for continuity's sake, I'm going to grab the same type of bottle for the order. Because it looks like there were more. Nope, this is all it is. So it must be pictured then, if that's it. Um, what did I say I sold these for? $22.99. Since it's a different bottle type, what I would normally like to do is try and get the same looking one so the customer doesn't get confused. You can see it's the same UPC. It's the same product. Uh, quantity of 45, quantity of 45. Well, obviously, if it's the same UPC, that'd be fine. It probably just changed production style between those two dates. But we only have one, and we only had one. See, so here it says one. Now, if we had more before and it sold down to the point where there's just the low, we sold the last one, it would show like this, zero available. But since we only had one to begin with, there was one. So that means the picture likely has the different bottles. And yeah, you can see right here, two different types of bottles. So I'm not too worried about it. And lastly, K3-2. Let's see, it's not that, it's this. So we had, that's a bad example, it's tape. We had these staplers, a whole bunch of them came from staples, but there were a few that were defective. So we just sold the cord for them. And this cord sold for $13.99. Not bad for the remnants of a broken item. And I've got three items with offers here. Let's start with this one. $54.99 is retail. It's been here since May. $40. Bucks. Uh, they're in Florida, though. I'm going to counter offer that at $49.99. Review counter offer. Submit. Now, let's do the next one. Offers. Why don't we open this next one up in a new tab? This one here. $329.99 is retail. It's been here also since May. Uh, open a new tab. And their offer is $140! Wow. See, if I get an offer that low, that's insulting to me. I'm not even going to bother countering it. I'm just going to decline. Now you might ask why I don't do where it automatically declines below a certain point. And that's because if this sits here... For a year, 18 months, and I look, all the offers are 140, 150, 135. They're all in the same area. I want to be able to see that. And I can't see that if it auto declines them. But that one, we're going to decline. And lastly, these pens just listed sometime this month. It's only the 7th. Um, so they were listed probably within the last couple of days. Uh, they want half price. I'm declining. Every, anytime I get something that's half price or less, I'm declining that offer unless it has been sitting here long enough where I'm actually willing to consider it. Sometimes I would consider a, even a recent item at half price or in that area if they're offering to buy a whole bunch of them and it just makes sense shipping wise. Like those pen refills right there. They offered 10. My price is 20. I would have taken 10 if they bought, you know, 15 units. I don't have that many in stock, but if I did and they bought 15 units, yeah, I would have taken that because it saves me the three bucks to ship each one and doesn't really increase the shipping price that much. So anyways, it is late. I need to go home and unpack and go to bed. Hopefully I can continue pushing out content like this. I'm trying to do three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't know how well I'm going to be sticking to that. But I needed something here because it's Sunday night. I need to get this done to be uploaded tomorrow. So I'm probably going to be editing this tonight. But these are these eBay sales videos are usually fairly quick to edit. And I'm not tired. I'm ready to river dance. You can't see that I'm river dancing because my feet are down there. Maybe I'm river dancing. Maybe I'm just moving my torso. You don't know. But I'm definitely not tired. And it's probably after midnight. So hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. I'm going to do this all the way home.